<clears throat> uh, so today is just knife sharpening. Lots and lots and not of knives to sharpen. Uh, and I've been collecting these uh, uh, Ontario Knife Company, I guess. So I've been collecting these knives for a whole lot of years and I'm a big fan of them. So not everybody I'd imagine is familiar with this brand, but whatever, They're, I've got a whole bunch of them. Um, and the only one that isn't made from the Ontario Knife Company um, is my butcher knife, which uh, I should add is my favorite that I've ever found, if nothing else for that ring. So uh, on to the content, I suppose. I'm just gonna be stone sharpening today. Uh, which I think I've covered before, but why not? It makes for some content. Uh, so let's get to it, shall we? There's quite a th few things that need to happen before I set up the sharpen. Uh, one of which is the wire wheel uh, to get all this oxide off of the blades and get them back to raw steel uh, so I can see to sharpen them. So, uh, again, weird camera angles or whatever, but that's what's coming next. Uh, I hope you're okay with sticking around for the process of cleaning up old knives and sharpening the boogers out of them. Alright, just the boring stuff. Got to work on getting the uh, oxides off. Which I don't suppose makes much sense until... All right, just pausing real quickly to set up a sharpening stone and the overhead camera. All right, sorry about the lighting. Um, not sure if it gets much better, but well, maybe it will. Maybe I can turn this one off. Hmm, maybe. So th th this is a, a two-side stone. It's got a rough and a smooth, a smooth side. Um, and I'm going to start with the, the rough side to try to establish an edge. I don't want to take a break before I do this, but I figure it would probably be, probably be a decent idea to see what kind of shot I'm going to be chasing here. or what camera I should be using because this camera I'm not very happy with. Oh boy, it's cold. So I'm going to start with the rough side of the stone um, and sharpen a bunch of knives and then switch over to the smooth side and sharpen some more and then switch over to a honing stone and sharpen some more. So...
Now do the school side. I like to, I just discovered the second little pie is not a bad thing. Um, and we're there. Go. There we go. Go, we'll come back to this way. Don't tell me these guys will be sharp enough to not be your friend. Let's see. Suicide. You gotta remember this one sharpens at 25 to 30 degrees by comparison to the others, which sharpen at 18 to 20 degrees. So, this one's gonna sharpen because it's cleaver at a slightly steeper angle. And that is nice and sharp and looks like it. Uh, and we're sitting right around 25. Both like this. Next up is honing, which will take forever as long as we get away from the metal. So, the honing stones uh, have a, a different set of rules. They're, they're oil stones for one, they're not dry stones. And uh, are gonna put. Uh, not a surgical edge because that's that's optimistic, but a really unbelievable edge on on these knives uh, that I'm looking forward to. Uh, so I'm going to continue with my break, and uh, next time we come back, that's what I'll be doing. All right, I'm pretty excited about this whole thing. Uh, I don't use this stone very often. This is a really fine uh, stone that is meant to be used in junction with the oil. Uh, and that will eventually lead to, uh, it all went on the floor, but that will eventually lead to the honing stones, uh, which uh, also use, the some of these also use the uh, oil. So, okay, I'm back from my break. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set this up. This is a, a very fine oil stone um, and I use about that much oil uh, I'm gonna save the butcher knife for last then uh, I'm just gonna come in here spread the oil spread the oil Yeah, that is sharp. I would not want to be cut by that. And now let's do the butcher knife.
figures all my lighting would fall down, but whatever. We don't care. We're going to move on to honing after this. That is sharp. That is plenty sharp enough. And I'm going to take a second and set all this crap back up and move to a honing stone. So this particular stone is among my favorite as far as honing stones go. Uh, and I am going to use a little bit more oil than I did on the last one. There we go. Just rub that into the ends. So this is going to take our our amazing amazing blades that are like really sharp enough at this point to uh to a different degree of sharp that uh can only be achieved when you're honing and yes again would not want to be on the receiving end of a cut from that knife if I was a piece of turkey or cheese. And honing is not sharpening, just FYI. Uh, honing is making the sharp edge sharper. That's what I'm doing now, is making the sharp edge even sharper. And we're trying to set about 20 or 25 degrees, and that is that is sharp, my friends. Oh, uh, yeah, our homie. Yeah. Yeah, baby. I like sharp knives. What can I say? Yeah. Oh, little things that make me happy. Okay. Now for the final, because this one sharpens at a different angle than all the rest, so. And that, my friends is an extremely sharp blade as as all of them are but you know doesn't make any difference if i don't show people how to do it so what i didn't use are these honing stones which are more ideal for uh machining tooling and whatnot uh this honing stone i don't remember where i found it but I'm glad I did because it's also an oil stone. 
so I store it up up over yonder. So in the meantime, I'm I'm done with sharpening, uh, and I'm gonna switch cameras. Okay, so today uh, a bunch of knives, like just tons of knives, got sharpened, which makes me happy. Um, and please take a moment and note the math um, as far as the angles of the blades go like I just took a minute and looked it up because why not I have the technology um, and until next time I suppose I'll look forward to seeing you please take a minute and like and subscribe I think I say that every time but can't say it enough like and subscribe, please. That'd be awesome. Ah, until next time. Oh, don't know what happened. Whatever.